deal on that. Now, these bubbles I can come back and slick out later on. That just means that I'm going to need to let the cake completely chill, um, like for a good hour or more in yeah. the fridge. Um, because we're going to be covering this with ganache, I'm not going to worry about that, and that's part of why we're doing it with ganache, so that we can actually finish the cakes tonight. Yeah, and um, that'll fill in those little bubbles. Exactly, it's going to hide any imperfections. Okay, and plus it's Valentine's Day, and what woman doesn't want chocolate on Valentine's Day, right? Yeah. So that being said, okay, we're pretty much done with this. The only thing is, we want to clean up our clean up our board. See, see how it looks all greasy on the bottom there. Okay. Yeah. Basically, I want to take my wet rag, and right now, because if I chill this, you never be able to clean that off. Okay. Because that's just grease, and it's just going to solidify right onto your board. You never be able to get it off. So right now, while it's nice and loosey loosey, this is the time to clean that off, make it nice. All right. Because if there's grease, it doesn't look very appetizing. No, it's going to look all dirty. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So now, um, actually. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's. Um, while I'm putting that in the fridge. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's refluff the icing so that you can do yours. Okay. okay. So one of the things about uh, you know icing the cake and the icing is. There's a lot of loading and reloading and back and forth with the ice. Right. You know, like I said, I I mean it's a shame that I don't really think of it as like food. Well it's a shame because I probably weigh about six hundred pounds that I did. Right. I kind of think of it as, you know, fat or cement or uh, you know, filler. I mean, you know, because or mortar. Or mortar, because what I'm doing is I'm using the icing to build my layers. Yeah. And I'm constructing a thing. That, um, and basically what we're doing is we're creating our canvas so that we can make the picture later on. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, let me put this in the fridge. Okay. And while I'm there, I'm just going to go to your cake too. Okay. And you're going to use this guy. And you're going to use this. And you're going to use this. And it's going to be canvas. And yes, everybody at home, I'm nervous. <laughs> There's nothing to be nervous about. Which is way to make you not nervous. <laughs> well, the cake is very good. No, it's just make it up. Sure, you know. I mean, you know. So, alright. There, are we not? Yeah. It's not as good as it needs to be. Okay. No, 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 no. Just leave it be. Oh, we're just going to leave it down? Just leave it be. Okay. okay. Alright, what's the first thing you got to do? We need to take the paper off. That's right. Okay. All right. What's the next thing you need to do? Um, on the top, put more icing on than I need. Yes, but first I want you to roll up your sleeves. Yeah. Right, because it's going to get messy <laughs> if I don't. Like that. This way. I know you're a 50s greaser, but you know. Mr. Stray Cat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I remember, we have a grease themed wedding, which is going to be Danny right. and Sandy. <laughs> Danny and Sandy, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, so now. All right, yes. And then. Bloop. That's a great start. How much more do you need? Uh, well, more than that. Yeah. Because I can a lot always. More. A lot more. Keep going. Come on. Come off there. Here, get yourself a big scoop. Like that. Even more. More. Do that again. Yeah. Alright, that's good. And even a little bit more. Okay. Oh, I just don't want to touch that. I know you do. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Okay. Okay, so now. Yep. Well, hang on, hang on. Yeah, show me. You're in the right spot. Okay, see, so feel the notch? Yeah. With your finger? Now you know you're on the right side. Yep. Okay. Then now just bring it out to the edge. Just work yep. it a little at a time. Yep. You gotta actually work it out. Like this. No. No. You will. 
look, look. Am I wrong? Look. Start in the middle and bring okay. it out. Oh, push. Not like okay. push it to death, but. Yeah, bring okay. it out. Yeah. Okay, step in the middle. Easy. All right. Got the drip. <laughs> yep. Okay, so now, now bring this part around. And, and you want to have your, your, be vertical, completely vertical. Yeah. And use the tip. Okay, now that big spot, bring that down. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Whoops. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I can always wipe that off. Yeah. There you go. You're getting it. I know. This has okay. got to be torture for you. <laughs> well, it's fine. Okay, now look. Look. Now, just, you, you're not bringing anything down, so you got to you got to bring this down and over, okay. or this up. So bring it down. There you go. Just Here, the tip, you, right? You're, you're, you're trying too hard on that one spot. Find another spot where it's fit, fat. Okay. There you go. Now, 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 do the top and do another layer down and around. No, 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 no. Don't swirl it around. No, 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 no. Use the tip and bring it toward you. Oh. Bring it toward you. No, no, no. From the center and then move it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let me show you something. Yeah, please. Watch. <laughs> okay. This is Remember, a lot harder than you, it looks. You're, you're trying too hard with the spatula. What you want to do is use the use the turntable okay okay and you hold it still it's like doing pottery look hold it still so you can smooth it out and then you know where you thick okay okay see now i'm just going back and forth a little bit to get an extra feel for it see because i'm actually touching the cake with my spat i'm not touching it with i'm i'm sensing what's cake and what's icing just by the action and the feel. Okay. Okay, see now how I have that smoothed out? Yeah. Now is when you want to come back and hit your sides, okay? Okay. But you don't want to go in further than this crown that I have created for you. Gotcha. Okay? Okay. Go ahead. All right. Start so, with that part. And like this, right? Yep, yeah. You're fine. It's not just about the motion. Use the tip of the spatula to bring it around. I'm trying, John. I know. You're doing fine. This is a very difficult thing. Okay? Okay, now I see a little bare spot right here. Yeah, but what you want to do is... Okay, now... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. Right now, your yeah. fingers are clean, right? They are. Okay, stick your finger in the middle of that cake okay. and see how far down you can go before you hit cake. Like right about there. Okay, that's a lot of icing on top, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, so we could probably get So rid of, we get know that, that we out. can bring some of that. No, no, we're not taking it off. We're going to bring it down. Yeah, bring it out. Yes. So okay, now at this point, I have the tip down. Tip down? Okay. Yeah, see see how it's, it's down? Yeah. From. Okay, see now how I'm making a natural dip? Yeah. Okay, now, okay, and I'm coming back this way? Yeah. Now if I, now I can bring this down and make this smooth. Okay? Yes. So now look how much more you have to work with to bring this down here. Okay, see what we're doing? Oh, I see. So you're okay. kind of coming along and here, here. You're, you're gently pushing it down. Look, look. Yeah. Can the, okay. Here, here. A little bit. See, I'm bringing this down here. Yeah. Like so. Okay. Oh, so it's like sh 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 down. Up. Down. Up. And now I'm going to take this and, and bring it, it around. Now I have a big spot here, so we'll bring that down to there. And now this can come down to there. We have a spot that's a. Uh, right here? A hole, yeah. Oh, that's fine. What we'll do is we'll just. Oh, see, you just go over, right over and it fills it right in. Okay. Okay, see how I'm using the tip? Yeah. Okay, see now, I don't have any icing, you know, this far back. It's just, here, let's take this. Yeah, my little messy. Let's just get that right off of there. <laughs> my little messy. 
Okay, now you can finish this, okay? Okay. What I want you to do is bring this and smooth it out. Yeah. And bring that back a little bit, blend it in with this, and then bring the whole thing back over here. Okay. Okay? I'm going to go. sit. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so. Now start with this. Start with this? Yep. Yep. There you go. Bring it into that part. Now bring that part down. Yep. Yes. Yeah. See how you're bringing the, the, the thick parts of the icing okay. down into the thinner parts. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be smooth. What you want is an even coating. And yeah. then we'll make it smooth. Okay? You're actually doing very well. <laughs> Don't be discouraged. Oh, I know. This is a very difficult thing to do. Yeah. I mean, you make it look so easy. Well, it's that's like you're my eating job. A, you're, it's it's my like you're job. eating a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. It probably took you many years. I've iced literally thousands and thousands and thousands of cakes. Yeah. Literally. I've actually made more than 5,000 wedding cakes. Oh, my God. Just wedding cakes. Yeah. That does include shower cakes, anniversary cakes, birthday cakes, and so on and so forth. Or engagement party cakes. And then you got to figure, you know, each each one of those wedding cakes, you got to figure there are at least three or four tiers. Right. So, <laughs> so there's only 20,000 cakes. <laughs> you can do the math, you know? Yeah. So I've had a little practice. Okay, so now now what do you see? What do you want to okay. do? Um, I'm thinking I want to take the thicker part mm -hmm. and start smoothing it. Am I right? Okay, okay. Now, which part is thicker? Which, uh, it would part? definitely be this. Okay. That's got a lot of icing sitting there. Yeah. So now... So you want to bring that over to here? Yeah. Okay, I would I would dig that. Okay. There you go. Now, feel free to, you know, move it a little oh. bit. I mean, sometimes you leave it smooth or straight, and sometimes you got to manipulate it, go back and forth. Like I said, it's like doing pottery. Okay. Oh, oh now you did it. No, <laughs> <laughs> right, let me see. Let me see where you're at. Okay, let me show you something. Yeah, please do. No, no, no. You hold on to that. Okay. All right. We're gonna I notice we got a little bit like... Yeah, right what there. we're going to do is we're going to cheat a little bit. That's fine. All right, so if you're getting really frustrated, okay, and you need to cheat a little bit, sometimes all you got to do after you burp the bag <laughs> yep. is just add a little icing where you need it. Oh! Okay, I know, it sounds so simple, but I figured I'd have you work at it for... Da -da -da -da. Now clean the spatula, okay? Because that's part of your frustration. I got okay. too much frosting on the thing. Yes. Okay, now are you using the correct side on the spatula? Let's see, I'm feeling for the notch. Yep. Which is here. Notch. Yep, okay, good. And the curve is. Yeah, back. well, if you've got the notch in the right spot, then you know you got the curve. Okay. Okay. So now if I'm going this way. Now, now what, do you, what do you need to do? Um, I'd say probably the top should be smoothed, right? Um, that doesn't happen until you've done the side. Okay. So, so should I use a slicker? Yep. Yep. Now, very gently. Okay. Like here, here, like this. gentleman's touch. Like this. Back here. Oh, back okay. here. Not in front of you like that. Okay, okay. so that way look, it's look, an look, angle. Look. Yes, it's at a thin, short angle, not at a ninety degree angle. Ninety so degree like angle. Thirty you're degrees. I'd say Ish. Ten, fifteen degrees. Okay. Okay. The less, the better. Right. The closer to the cake you are, the better. You basically want to be. drag your thumb on it, almost. Okay. Okay, see? Okay. All right, so you do it. Let me give it a shot. Yeah. Okay. Remember, you're not going to do it clean on the first try. You're going to go around a bunch of times. Yeah. Okay, stop focusing on the top corner because you need to do the bottom first. Here, watch. <laughs> okay. I'm sure and, I'm not the first also, person that's had this frustration. No, 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 also, also, you need to be scraping this. Oh. Okay. Now it's it's a scraper. Right. So it's a slicker. It's a scraper. Now so we got to fix that. So if I have too much on there, I have to. Yeah, we need to fix that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, and hopefully the camera can pick this up, 
I'm just going to come in and I'm going to cut that like so. And I'm going to move it over into back here and add it on. Okay? See? Yeah. See? Now we're doing drywall. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah. All right. So, here. You, you continue on with it. Should I wipe this? Yeah. Now. Yeah. Nice. Close. Yeah. I felt like I stuck somewhere. Yeah, well, that's because you're, here, here, have it be more like this than like that. Oh, okay. so an See? angle? Well, a little angle is okay, mm -hmm. okay? And also, you can, okay, first of all, you should hold this like this so that you can bend it. Oh. Okay, you can manipulate it a little bit. Okay. Another little trick that other decorators don't do. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, so right. try that. So like this, mm -hmm. at an angle. Yeah. Like this or like this, this. Uh, like that. Yeah. Okay. Because you and a gentle pressure, just a little bit. Yeah. Just you don't like want to try and scrape too much off of there. Just okay. Like now, a now, wall. now look. Stop. Every time you stop, you make one of these. Okay. So it's got to be a continuous motion. And then off. Then pull it away. Yeah. Woohoo! That's it, Dan. There you go. Now you're cooking with fire. <laughs> All right. Okay. Hold off. Okay. So now you got just not bad for the first time. No, no. And quite frankly, this is you know, I mean, you could you you could you know fuss all this. Oh, you could fuss over this all day. But quite frankly, now it's time to just cut your top off. Okay. Here, so here, use this, use this, and clean the, clean the bottom like so. Yeah. Okay. So we clean the plate. Clean the plate first. Okay. Wipe that off. Use this guy. Nah, don't worry about that. No. Use this guy and just hit your corner nice. Okay. And then, then, then like this. And don't go any further than the center. That's it. Okay. Now uh, wipe. And then go this way. Go this way? No, no, no. no. That way. Yep. Wipe. Wipe. Wipe every time. Okay. So wipe, wipe every time. Every time now. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yes. A little more. Okay. Now, with this oh, did guy. Did I cut it too soon? No, 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 no. What you want to do is see how we got this little overhang. Yeah. All right. After lots of practice, I finally figured out what you want to do is just kind of lift up and then over, like, like that. And oh, so the cake terrible. is like a rounded corner, yeah. like a radius. Yes, yes. Okay, so now wash just the board. Don't worry about the plate. And okay. don't worry about the red, okay? okay. Not just the plate. No. Yeah. And don't hit the cake. Right. <laughs> yes, correct. Don't hit the cake. And I'm just getting the edge. Yep. So it looks pretty. Uh-huh. All right. Good deal. Yeah, Sandy's gonna have her mind blown when she sees that <laughs> I made this cake yeah, for her. There you go. Okay. All right. So stick in the fridge. All right. And grab the hearts. All right. Now this part I'm getting nervous. <laughs> you can do it. Don't drop it down. That would be a real, real. Yeah, because then I'd have to give you mine, and I don't want to do that. I don't blame you. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna watch this right now. Now don't mix them up. I would put them on different shelves. I don't think you're going to mix it up. Mine has that little pinwheel looking yeah. thing on top. Alright, let me wash my, uh, my rag and my little thing. Get ready for the next phase here. <laughs> hey, I'm not doing too, too bad. We can edit that. <laughs> I mean, overall, I think I'm doing pretty good considering it's oh, the very great. first cake I've ever made in my entire doing life. Doing great. Doing absolutely fantabulously wonderful. Yeah, when I was with my mom, she was baking. You know what my job was? Huh. Lick the spoon. Hey, that's uh... <laughs> that was all I was allowed to do. Well... I mean, not that I mind. That's a good talent, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a good talent. Okay, so now what I'm going to do Oops, is sorry. I'm going to take your pastry bag and I'm just going to put a little bit of strawberry in here. Right. Don't need much. Should be plenty. All 
right? What I'm doing is I, I've got my thumb here and I just wiped it on my thumb so that it would all be in there. So, okay. all right, so now, squeeze Twist. it just like normal. Burp a little bit. All right, so well, there's the no end. burping on this because it's only, basically if it's a one load, you don't have to. Burping it is when uh, when you're putting, when you're reloading. Okay. Because what'll, be, what'll happen is you're pushing the, act, the what was still in the bag still needs to come out before okay. your fresh buttercream or whatever goes in and then there'll be a little air pocket in between and that's what you don't see now if you're going along piping and that air bubble goes it's, it's which gotta, i saw that happening when i was go, trying to Whoa. put my stuff on there and it's like oh. oh yeah that'll that'll really uh screw you up really good yeah it's like a little blowout there okay so i'm just going to cut a little bit off there test it nice just a little bit nice and smooth okay all right so did Not you get bad. the chocolate hearts uh oh gotta get the chocolate hearts Up top. Oh, or here. Okay. All right. Right on the table. Mm -hmm. Sit your butt down. All right. Now this is what you're doing. You're gonna take and you're gonna put a nice little spot, just a little bit, right? On each one, but it can't be too much. Okay, because you can't go above the rim. Right. Okay, so just a little bit. Okay, so these are going to basically be strawberry filled chocolate hearts. Shh. I think. Yeah. We can, we can edit that. I can... <laughs> There's no need to edit that. That's a fun thing. Oh, this stuff is hard. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. That's plenty. Yep, that's perfect right there. Uh huh. Good. Got a little tail there. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Instead of good doing one big blob, try and make it wider but yet not so tall. Yeah, perfect. There you go. Nice. Try to get rid of that tail. <laughs> That's all right. Little tail's good. <laughs> Do especially on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Okay, I think I got the feel for this. Yeah. You're doing very well. You gotta admit, cake frosting is a lot harder than it looks. Oh, come on now. <laughs> it's not difficult. Well, not for you, Mr. Yeah. Twenty Thousand. <laughs> And counting. Like I said, <laughs> I've I've had way too much practice to not be good. Okay, so you know. Well, yeah, in your original intro video of the wedding thing, um, you said you've paid a lot of dues. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting an idea what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so those look, those look pretty good. They look great. Are you okay. kidding? Okay, set that down. Okay, set this guy over here. Yep. Okay, so now what we want to do is come back to our chocolate bag. Okay. And what I want to do is just completely cover that. Oh, so you want to pipe it in and then bring it to the top. See? See how I'm just going around it? Yeah. I'm, I'm enclosing it. Okay, so that we can just... That's the trick I remember my mom doing when she was making chocolates. There you go. Just make sure you cover the, the strawberry. Okay? Okay. So just a little bit, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's good. All right, stop. See, because they don't have to be full. It's, 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 you know, some can be, some can be thinner than others. Some can be a little fat. It's okay. No, no, no. Don't worry about that until after. Okay. okay. Now you're, you're sticking your tip into the strawberry. You don't want to do that. Oh. You want to cover it. Yeah, stay above it. There you go. A little more. See this corner here? You need more there. Yep. A little more. Oh, so the trick is make sure the strawberry is completely covered. Yeah. Okay. And this one, too. Come back to that one before it gets too late. Yeah, you want it to all be encased. You don't want strawberry seeping out. Okay. Okay. There you go. Now don't go around the edge like that. You don't need to do that. Oh. Yeah, okay. You need to cover the strawberry and then let the excess settle down. Gotcha. Okay, because that's okay. what happens. So this guy 
cover. Yeah, a little more. It's sure. it's the amount. It's not where it is because remember, it's just in a puddle. Right. It's a puddle. There you go. Chocolate's starting to stiffen a little bit. Okay. So let me let me see. Yeah. Okay. So when that happens, mm -hmm. what we want to do, first of all, oh. you you you're you're running out of room here. So now what we need to do. Oh. Let's give it a twist down. Oh, so it feeds more chocolate to the front. You know it. Okay. okay. And then, okay, we don't have any solid pieces inside. That's what I was thinking was happening. Yeah. It's got some solids. No. So that should be a lot easier for you now. Okay. And bring my hand down like this, right? Mm hmm How's that? Oh, a lot better. Yeah. Whoa. whoa, whoa. See? There you go. <laughs> See, now it's all about the leverage. You know, by twisting it down and having your hand in that position, you have much more leverage with the bag. I see. You know, now it takes a lot less effort. Beautiful. Okay. Then I want you to go back to that last one over here, too. Give it a little bit more. Up, no, 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 up here in the back. Yeah. There you go. All right, so let's tap them out. This one needs a little more. This one? No, that one. Yeah, right on the middle. No, right in the middle. In the center. Yeah, just a blob. There you go. Oh, right, because it'll spread you when you're tapping. Yeah. Okay. What about this one? Oh, uh, one's fine. As long as it's, uh, I mean, you can always add a little bit more. I'd add a little more to this one too. Alright, that's good. Okay. You watch. Okay, when we pop them, they're still going to look perfect. The Even fronts, the bottoms are these are the bottoms. Weird. These okay. are the bottoms. The, the tops are going to look perfect. Cool. Okay. So, alright. Put these in the fridge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll chill those. Now, okay. These done. This is all done. In the fridge? Nope. Oh, so no, it goes, goes off to, yeah. Okay. You don't refrigerate this. Oh. Okay. So, all right. Now, at this point, what we want to do is use a star tip. in the bowl. Okay. Okay. So basically, now I've got my tippy. Yep. And so we don't need a lot. My little coupler. Okay. No, and plus I can always reload. Right. Okay. There we go. That's pretty. Yeah. Okay. So nice. All right. I know that one's yours. This one's mine. Now, <laughs> notice I'm using this turntable. Right, because it doesn't spin real fast. I... Okay, so now, see how you got this little line right here? Yeah. That's the back of the cake. Okay. Okay, that's where I lifted the, took the slicker off the cake. Okay. When I was spinning and, you know, basically when I lifted off, okay, basically that imperfection is what I always use as the back of the cake. So when, you know, so you're not going to see that, okay? Yeah. All right, so that's where I always start my borders. See, oh. because when you start at the back and then come around to join, now what's in the front is all going to be the centers. You don't want to see where your, your, your borders join right there in the front of your cake. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Here, let so, me check the position of the camera, Sam. All right, we're good. Okay. So, I mean, a lot of baking is just common sense. Well, know? I know. 
So, okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a cute little border, okay? okay. And I'm not going to give it a typical shell border because I find that when you cut the cake, those shells, <laughs> they never make it onto the plate. They're always in the way. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a swooping border that's more of a, a like a roll, okay? So that oh. basically more the most of the border is on the cake. Got it. So when you cut it, the border it gets on the plate it. and the people get to enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I mean. And it's basically okay. just circles. Okay. See, so, you know, it's like a, oh an upside down border, you know. Yeah. See, instead of doing the loops on the top, I did them on the bottom. Okay. Okay. So now you can do that with yours after I load this bag for you. Okay. I'll go get mine. Okay. Actually, would you take mine and put it in the fridge for me? I can. Thank you. Okay. And... And the bag is burnt. Okay. Drop it. <laughs> That's why I'm being so careful. <laughs> All right, so All this right. one goes on the stiff one. Yep. Like so. Yep. Boom. All right, sit down so you're at eye level. Okay. Okay. All right. Now I gotta make sure I get the bag tight. Yep. Right? Yep. And make sure I use my hands. Yep. And okay. you're just gonna go over loops like this. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now. All right, hold on, hold on. Now look. If you were to, instead of just going, you, you're doing arches? Yeah. Okay. What I want you to do is have it be one continuous motion. Oh, so like. So it's like over and then a little, and then, and then uh, over and then, and then come back a little bit to keep going. Okay. And then come back a little bit and keep going. Okay. All right. I will get this. <laughs> I know. All right. So, starting there at the bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're doing good, but you, you you need to come back a little bit and to go over. Oh, and we gotta move it. <laughs> That's what you'd want to do. Yeah. You're getting there. See, now you're not doing what I was doing, but that looks pretty cool, too. Yeah. See? Well, it's all unique. It's a little different, but see, now now that you're having one continuous motion, see where you bring this down it and then you come back smoother. up? Yeah, see? It's like night and day from there. Yeah. And that's why you want this to be in the back, because right. then the people will see this part. Right. Because you've, you've, pretty... you've had your practice. Now right. you've got your groove going. Okay. Okay? So the ugly goes in the back. <laughs> Now turn the wheel when you go. Oh. Yeah. So you're working in front of yourself. Don't turn it as you're piping. Just move it, do a couple of pipes, and then move it again. There you go. All right. Good deal. Put it in the fridge. That's the best part. <laughs> Put it in the fridge. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm learning. I know. You're having fun. That's the main thing. Yes, I am. <laughs> All right. Okay, folks, I got some fudge. Got some fudge. All right. 30 seconds, please. Yep. Thank you, sir. And what do we say about chocolate, John? You never have too much chocolate. And the step, the, the, the key to um, stop eating all the chocolate is you must first eat all the chocolate. <laughs> That's the only way to stop eating the chocolate. <laughs> It's also an antioxidant. It's very good for you. Just so you know, it's like yeah. wine. And wine and chocolate are both very good for you people. And me. And me. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Let's see how that's doing. Okay. 
Yeah, until it's plain. It's uh, you never know. That's going to melt a lot quicker and easier than the, the, the dark chocolate. Okay, this is good. Oh, okay. This is good. Okay, you feel the heat? Yeah. Okay, that's what we want. And it's awfully viscous. Right, so we want to stir it a little bit to distribute the heat. Well, right. we want it to be smooth. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Let's, uh, yeah, let's do a little, uh, basically fudge gato. Food porn, you know. food porn as it were. Food porn, is that what they call it? Yes. Well, this is, uh, this is melted fudge. Okay, it's basically a chocolate ganache. Um, it's cream and chocolate. Okay. All right. See how it's my turn. Okay. Oh, I am going to get my cake. Yep. Okay, now, what I'm going to do, and I know as I practice, I'm probably going to get a little smoother with that kind of pattern. Oh, sure. It's inevitable. It's, ex it's experience. It's inevitable. Yeah. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of this chocolate ganache on in the center. Yeah. I'm going to bring it out to the edges. I'm going to smooth it around, and what it's going to happen is it's going to create drips. To go down the side of the cake. Oh, okay. okay. That way you can still see that it's white buttercream underneath, but it's going to be completely, not completely, but the top will be completely enrobed in, um, in and a nice chocolate. And partially on the sides. Yes. So, makes a nice, nice look. Okay. So, not too much. Okay, it's easy to do too much. But if you do too much, then it just drips and makes a mess. Okay, so now I'm just going to let it rest for a second. Down. Yep. Okay, I'm basically drawing a little bit of heat out of it so that it doesn't just melt down the cake. Yeah. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and bring it out to the edge like that. And then just let it drip. Yep. And I'm not making them all the same. Some are little, some are big. Right. Okay, and now I'm just going to come back and smooth the top. Yeah, because you want the side to have asymmetrical, right? Okay. See that? Yes. Look at the top. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Now, just give it a little shaky shake. Shake it, shake it, shake. Let it settle a little bit. And look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? That's beautiful. Wow. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is take some of my white chocolate curl drops. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. And I'm going to add them on right now while the ganache is still wet that's when i'm adding them okay i think this would and work. you don't want to do too many hey john because it's redundant i think this is what chef emerald lagasse would say another notch <laughs> bam <laughs> another notch okay well that's him this is me oh i know anyway so this is this is wonderful okay so that could be that's done a, on its own beautiful. but we still got those hearts, so Indeed. no, leave those be. So now you can go grab your cake. That's what I was going for. My cake. Okay, beautiful. All right, now we have mine out of the way. Thank you. All right, and I see the icing is starting to actually harden that. Well, that's the idea. Right, because I think you told me when icing gets cold, it gets very brittle and stiff. Yep. Yep. Okay, so. Okay. So Ready now. Here, come on over here so you can watch what I'm doing. Okay, so from the center, right? Why don't you stir the, stir the fudge real quick. Oh, okay, just make, it, make sure it's nice and loose and, and even. All right, go ahead. Okay. And just yep. slow, right? Yep, just go ahead and pour. Okay. Don't be bashful, just do it. A little more, a little more. It's not as hot as it was before for me, so you, 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 you need a little bit more. All right, that's good. All right. Now just let it settle for a second, all right? Yep. Now use the tip and bring it to the edge. Okay. Just like from before. No, 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 no. Oh, spread to the edge, so you get your drips. No, no, no. Use the tip. Oh. Come on, just do it. Okay. Push it off. Here, let me show you. Yeah. Look, watch. 
Oh, oh, put pressure. Right, okay. <laughs> there you go. Not all the, give it space in between. Space in between. All right. All right, now move on. All right, now put one over here. Yeah, all right, now go back and smooth this out real quick. Yeah, that's it. Just, yeah. Bring it, keep, keep bringing it around. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. All right, good. Leave it. That's it. Sometimes you just got to do it and let it be what it is. Yeah. Okay? Do you All have right. chopped nuts of some kind? Um, I have uh, chopped walnuts. Um, almonds? I, I don't have any almonds, no. Well, we'll do almonds then. Are you sure? Yeah. Unless you think the white chocolate would be better. Definitely the white chocolate. I wouldn't put okay. walnuts on here. All right. Not at this point. Right. They should have gone on the inside. And you, and they're going to clash against the strawberry. You don't need that. Oh, good it's, point. It's not about making it, you know, with every variation. It's, it's do, do what you're going to do, but do it better than anybody else. All right, folks. Welcome back. It's time to put the final touch touches on these cakes. Uh, we've been sitting and shooting the breeze a little bit, so we had our chocolates giving them plenty of time to solidify, come to temperature so that we can pop them out of their molds. Also, our cakes are nice and chilled. All we have to do is basically uh, pop the chocolates and then decorate the cakes with the, with the chocolates. And then they will be ready for the boxes. Now, um, this night we're not really gonna be cutting into these cakes and enjoying them for the camera. So you're just gonna have to imagine how delicious they actually are. Or maybe they could try to take a crack at it, make it. Oh, you could give it a go, you know. But um, I'm sure that uh, next week, hopefully, we'll get a good report uh, when Dan shares his cake with his lovely woman, and I will certainly be doing the same. So there'll be time to talk about it. So anyway, so let's uh, let's take a moment. I'm gonna go grab those chocolates, and we'll finish this up. So for a second, okay. All right, here we go. Two yummy cakes. We got some hearts we got to put on. And there. We don't want to touch them because you get fingerprints all over them. Basically, all we got to do is take it's a couple of these guys. And yep. Put them right on top of your white chocolate hearts so that they pop. Okay. Yeah. See what I'm doing here? Actually, I'm doing yours. I should be doing mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Okay, so we use this guy? No, 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 use a clean one. Oh, so we can use this? That's why I have 50 spatulas. Yeah, you can use that one. And that, that wider one is good for you to use here. And you go on that side. Perfect. Uh-huh. There you go. Stick them all over. She'll just grab one and pop it in her mouth and be like, Oh, damn, you made these? Oh, I so just good. might do that. No, don't don't, don't touch. For me, no. no, of course. <laughs> All right, those are yours. All right. That's more than I actually need, but that's fine. Oops. Don't. <laughs> Well, that happens, you know. Oh, yeah. All right. Now we'll put one in the center there. All right. Put this extra sure one on just Dan's. Right here. Okay. All right, folks. Check out this beautiful, wonderful Valentine's Day cake. My wife is just going to love this. Strawberry inside, chocolate cake, buttercream, chocolate ganache on the top with these homemade chocolate hearts with the strawberry inside. Yum.